So this this corner would be right. I don't think you can do much with it. But okay. I think it would be. But just if a you can, if we could get permission to clear this area here. Oh, yeah, would that's... that increase the value? Like, if we can get the community so you garden. Higher, yeah. yeah. Well, I think how, because... how high could we build here? Um, more uh, pleasing to yeah. the eye. Exactly, yeah. So, we've yeah, had yeah. like plants and we'll right. bring the community together. So, yeah. we're just wondering if you'd like to come join us. We'd love to. Thank yeah, you very much. That's good. Let's, shall we go over? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go and have a look. Yeah. Over. Okay. We, we thought, you know, we've, we've actually got the local community together today. Yeah. And we're trying to. You know, we're really making it better. We're trying right, okay. to um, There's some children and some, you know, older people that come yeah. to join us. And we're trying to make it um, a social space for people right. to come okay. and, and gather. I see. So, it, it, and that's kind of in addition to the parks that are around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, you know, I see. This is, this there's a lot of parks really here. Grow yeah. in the park, so uh, um, we want I see. somewhere you where you can actually grow. Yeah, food. I mean, there are allotments of everywhere aren't not, they not around also, here no, short really. of housing in, in this area so i think this um, this I'll, could be a I potential good a very good site for development yeah i think you'll find that most of the houses around here aren't actually occupied so if you can focus on those before you come to the building uh, well yeah, that is I, that's that. true it's you know there is a problem with that isn't there but nevertheless we also need new houses you know so let's have a look at it let's um so this isn't actually that big a site is it really see what relationship between the, the road and the Yeah, and that's problematic, road. isn't it? It's, uh, yeah. Very nice. Uh, so the, you see, if we could move the gates, move yeah. the gates okay, that would be Bikes really good, yeah. Problem. Uh, ah, they are, yeah. they, this is the old forest bike thing, isn't it? Who's why. in charge of that? Is that Transport for London or the council or is it Transport Tower London. Hamlets? Yes, I think Transport yeah. for London. Oh, yeah. Brown, look, we've really um, so, yeah, that, 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 it looks really yeah. good. It does. Yeah. Nothing's growing yet. This is, so. no, just, this is just the beginning. You yeah. see. We're going to start to evolve. So the community. Grasses, yeah. Everyone's coming together for this. Yeah. It's really great. I it is. It's, it's very nice. Yes. As a, it's, as a uh, local resident, yeah. I think this is really great, and the community is coming together. It's really, it's really fantastic. Hmm. That's true. It's yeah. It's good. I yeah, mean, it, so um, can I just you know, there's a problem in the area for social housing. We will be provided. 20% of our development would be social. At least, 20%, at least 20%. Yeah, at least, yeah. yeah. I think we could use the space in a better term by like. 80%, uh, I don't think it would be viable. Yeah, know. that's the problem, that's really, the you problem. see. We, we have to carry out a financial viability assessment, which, as I'm sure you're aware, is, is a way of making sure that when we build some new houses, um, that there's enough money left over to fund the social housing that is, I agree, that you absolutely need. Say yeah. it again, sorry. We need to live day to day in safety without all these new Well, the new buildings are obviously built to the highest security specifications. I mean, actually, when you look around, you, looking at some of the sort of old buildings over there in Clinton Road, I know for a fact that people who live in ground floor flats in those places are really quite anxious sometimes about security. So, of course, what we're doing with our architects here yeah. is we're looking at ways of making sure the whole area is much more secure. So any new development... Excuse me. Yeah. A a any new development would have the you know state-of-the-art security uh, built yeah. into it of course mm -hmm. did you want to say something Abil? yeah so, i would say yeah. Yeah, yeah so we make sure that the homeless won't be around like we try to create space where the families would be feel safe by uh creating uh make it difficult for homeless people to sleep around the area so it's going to be great development for the area mm. No, that, well, that's true, but that's that's why we're providing the 20%. If you're proposing 80% that's not social housing, there'll be no space for... Well, the, the no. problem, you see, the problem is, is we're hamstrung by the, the, the council. Actually, yeah. Because what we need is more green space, don't you agree? Yeah, 100%. But you've got... I understand that entirely. There's a big park just here, though, you know? But if you, if you see the ratio of parks to houses, you'll see there's a vast variety of houses rather than parks. It is a... So you don't know about that. Mm. This, yeah. is, this is actually, this There's has got history. history in this community. So I'd like yes. to say, as a buyer of Behe Corporation, I have to know that this area has not been utilised to its maximum potential. And as a buyer, I would mm. say, go ahead with the project. Thank you, uh, yeah. You look around, you yeah. Can see that Thank you very much. Change. Within one day of our efforts, you can see that oh, there's already green already planted in the area. What, yeah. what can we say about that? It's the, one of the, the poorest people in Tower Hamlets are really suffering in terms of air pollution in the borough. Um, we have one of the, like, the fifth 
most polluted borough in London and we really need to do something about mm. it and green space and having trees and having a lot of like putting more oxygen back into the atmosphere mm. and taking the carbon dioxide out is really like pressing, mm. pressing mm. problems. I'm really glad you well, brought that up about air pollution, aren't you, Abil? Because of course we're really concerned about air pollution and all, as I was saying earlier, as, all, as, as well as all these sort of innovative security measures. We're introducing very innovative energy measures. We're using the best possible materials, the best insulation. We're looking at passive solar. We're looking at um, insulating the houses so that you don't need to run the heating. These are all things we're considering very carefully and very um, carefully. they'll help make them more affordable. This green space to create that. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned security again because security in my experience in the local area means local residents not being able to walk through now gated properties, not being able to walk as they might choose to the marketplace or to the shops. Mm. I know that's what is meant by security. It's not security for local people. Yeah, it's true, but uh, yeah, so we, we are thinking all of these things, but it is critical that we need to that we develop this uh, this space uh, since we have to meet these housing uh, st um, targets by the, set by the London planning policy. So you know it has to be uh, it's going to be the the, plan, the, the, the planners are going to decide. Yeah. On so, this. But do you have to use a space that's bringing local. community together that is like mm. having a really net positive benefit for the environment? It's not that you, it's only this space that mm. you can use. And I think taking away something that's having such a positive Actually, a really detrimental thing. Mm. Yeah. It's true, there are some very hard decisions that have to be made at the moment in London. And obviously, we've been talking to Tower Hamlets for a long time about this development. And I realise it's difficult, but we have to look at the borough as a whole. We have to look at the spatial framework, as we planners like to call this. And we have to look at what's needed all over the borough, you see. So there's some very difficult decisions to be made in regard to that. And I obviously, as when this began, and, and I was just saying, Go on, sorry. And without us, the mm. council can't develop anymore because, mm. because of lack of funding. Mm. And there's poor funding for them. They, they can't build their house. So our money actually is going to help the council develop this area. Exactly, so, yeah. You know, so and, like and I urge you all, obviously, there is a democratic process in planning. And I urge you all to get involved and make representations to your local councillors. <laughs> the problem making the local we bad guys. representations that us as individuals don't have the power, lots of the councillors, you know, um, Haringey Council, what did he do? He ended up being a property developer, so we don't actually... Well, yeah, I know one bad apple doesn't, you know, alter the fact that we have a democratic process that you can all use if you want to. Yeah. And we have a democratic right as developers and architects to build high quality housing that will bring benefits to the local community. There's no denying it. The what statistics the are there. Say that again, sorry. What about the subsidence because of the river? Are you actually going to architect? Are you going to be building a safe place? Because what if the tower block starts um, leaning because of the subsidence? Uh, we would do all do the necessary the uh, measures. But what are you going to do about <laughs> the underground river, though? Um, we weren't aware of that. Well, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 have you not read the impact assessment? Oh, the, yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, the, the, it's quite clear that the underground river isn't a problem when you look at the impact assessment. And obviously, any buildings built in the region of the underground river, I'm sure Abiel will explain. We they can be underpinned use and use that water yeah. and recycle it up and, uh, yeah. and use that pot, yeah, to develop the side, and maybe that could be a very sustainable source of water for us. This, yeah. this sounds like yeah. madness. Is there anyone here from Extinction Rebellion? Because like, mm -hmm. I, I think that's, a, that's a, a framing we need to be thinking about. This is an emergency we've got, not just in London, worldwide. So talk about building more when we, one of the answers is to have more green space. Yes. Uh, and, and um, into, and that, you know, that's one way we can stop these emissions. So actually building when we've got this existing already. So already madness. like Michael Gove, has already said they have accounted for this and there will be, um, I think it was the climate emergency has been t triggered. Mm, yeah. but, uh, but the policies haven't come up yet, so we don't know what the measures for, you well, know. Michael was probably on a high when he said Yeah, well, I said. <laughs> <laughs> but we couldn't comment but, uh, on that, obviously. But but the, uh, uh, they haven't set the policy yet, so we don't know those frameworks for us to kind of work against. What, so what, we are what? working with what we have at the moment. So maybe we, we will change. But we work um, with what we have as well. What we have is this is this is one way to stop emissions, leaving this as it is, letting it grow and be green. Okay. Yeah.
Well, you know, we, could, we have to come back another day. Yeah. I think we might do, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's really good that we've had this impromptu meeting, and I wanted to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for giving us your opinions, and particularly, obviously, those of you that are in favour, because that's a voice that's being silenced. There are people in favour of development who are not being heard. And I'm very glad that you spoke up. Just your reference to democracy earlier, mm. your role as architects isn't, isn't one of political democracy at all. It, it, it's on a completely different spectrum. It's to do with work and it's to do with profit and loss. It's not to do with democracy. Well, of course it is. I mean, how could we not... We can't build things without making a profit, can we? I mean, that's the world we live in. Yes, OK. Anyway, I'm really sorry, and again, I'm very grateful to you all for sharing your opinions with us. I do recommend the uh, council planning now. system to you. We've got another meeting to go to, so we're going to have to leave you. Um, but obviously, do get in touch. Um, I'm from uh, Bludgeon and Batter. Um, <laughs> I am yeah. from Star Architect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and obviously, we would welcome any, uh, any inquiries at all that you have. Just ring up, make an appointment with our... Um, staff there um, obviously we're very busy so it may be a little bit of time before we can see you um, but uh, thank you very much I think it's been very very useful uh, let, perhaps we should go uh. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>